Sister, sister. I've had that song stuck in my head literally this entire day. Cannot get it out. Just had to get it out so that it would. <whistles> All right. Let's do the hair. Girl. Today is the day. Today is the day I'm gonna be walking you through my unsponsored, updated hair care routine and showing you how to go from this to this. If you are excited about this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash that like button, go ahead, do it right now. It's free, everyone's doing it. The cool kids are doing it these days. Uh, it, it really will help me out so much and I'll really appreciate it. And if you ever wanna see my face again, be sure to subscribe and of course check out my Instagram for lots of fun little tips and tricks. Jumping right on in, I will be walking you through my holiest of holy grail products. So I did just get my hair freshly cut and highlighted yesterday, but honey, that bleach dries the heebly beebly out of my hair. So whenever I wanna start fresh after chemical damage, or maybe one week my hair just isn't cooperating. I know that we've all experienced that. I use these bad boys, and honey, they are bad to the bone. In a good way. <laughs> The very first product I like to use is Shea Moisture's Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. Whew, that's a mouthful. I have repurchased this product with my own money probably six or seven times at this point. I absolutely swear by it. I wish they made it in a bigger jar. It brings the bounce and the curl back into my waves after chemically processing my hair. This is a protein power treatment as the name states. So this is gonna be similar to products like Olaplex number three, except this is far, far cheaper, and I prefer it. This is also gonna be incredibly similar to Curl Smith's new like bond boosting product that's a little bit more protein dense than this is gonna be, but this is also half the price tag. I honestly just can't recommend this enough. I'm obsessed with it. She is thick and she is not here to play games. And once I'm done with that, I will jump in with another Shea Moisture product. I just, I really love this brand. And I feel like this brand really isn't targeted towards me or my hair type, but yet their products still work so well for my hair and I just, I love it. This is my favorite hair mask right now. It is so rich and lovely. We have the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. It's just my favorite. It nourishes, it's, Thick, but not too thick. Uh, the peppermint oil is really nice when it gets on the scalp. It definitely creates a slight tingly, like invigorating sensation on the scalp, but it's not strong or overpowering at all if you are sensitive to peppermint oil. It's just good. Believe it or not, it is the next day. Uh, your girl <laughs> forgot to turn her microphone on when she was recording this section. So I'm starting over, but it's fine. Fine, I'm fine. We're choosing joy today, we are choosing joy. Okay, so after our masks, we're jumping in with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Line Shampoo. This is my holy grail shampoo when it comes to volume, which is most days. Sometimes I will use an incredibly moisturizing shampoo just because I wanna give my scalp a break and like hydrate it in case maybe I'm experiencing, you know, some flakes from the cold temperatures, etc. But most days, if I want my hair to look good, I will use the Curl Talk shampoo. For those of you like me, the bigger the hair, the closer to God, this shampoo is gonna rock your world. If you do not like volume, if you want something super, super, super moisturizing for your scalp, this isn't gonna be the shampoo for you. Now, I don't wanna be misleading and make the shampoo sound like it's gonna dry the heck out of your scalp and it's not moisturizing at all. That is certainly not the case. It is still sulfate-free, silicone-free, paraben-free, Curly Girl Method approved, all that jazz. It is more on the cleansing side, so it is definitely gonna leave you with more volume than you're used to a typical sulfate-free shampoo that's more so hydrating. I hope that makes sense. Moving into our conditioners, as I said, these are my holy, holy, holy grail. So that doesn't mean that other conditioners I've mentioned in the past I don't like or I wouldn't use for like if I'm going for a different effect. But if we're talking like my go-to hair, I like a heavier conditioner. This is from Shea Moisture. It's the 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Conditioner. I don't know why their names are so long. Um, this conditioner I have bought so many times. I worked with Shea Moisture on promoting this product, I believe on Instagram and YouTube, like a couple years ago. I, it's just been in my rotation for a long time. I always go back to it. It's just a great 
conditioner. It's very hydrating, but without weighing my hair down so that I can achieve the volume that I like um, while it still looks moisturized and hydrated and not dry. If you're looking for a lighter weight conditioner and really struggle with your hair getting weighed down by conditioner, um, or maybe getting too soft from conditioner and then like your hair doesn't hold its curl, I think that the Not Your Mother's Curl Tuck Line Conditioner would be a great option for you. Or Maui Moisture has a really nice line. It's in a pink bottle. It's the Hibiscus line. Um, and it's very, very lightweight. Still hydrating, but lightweight, which I really like. Sister, sister! I've had that song stuck in my head literally this entire day. Cannot get it out. Just had to get it out so that it would. <whistles> All right, let's do the hair. T and Tamara Mallory, I know you're not watching this, but if you magically are, please make a reboot. I need it in my life. Okay, so when I get out of the shower, I automatically put my hair up in a turban and I leave my hair in the turban for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that's because it's gonna give me more of like a beachy, effortless effect that I personally like on my hair. But if you're looking for more definition, more perfection, then I would apply your product straight to your wet hair, soaking wet. But I like to personally apply it to damp hair. That's just me, you do you, boo. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and take this out. I feel like a little seven-year-old boy like in his jammies heading down Christmas morning. Anywho, it's the Maui Moisture Combing Cream. It is the Coconut Milk Combing Cream. I love this stuff. It's so stinking good. <laughs> and this is about how much I'm going to start with. So what I'm gonna do, and by the way, of course, all of these products are gonna be linked in the description box down below, all the tools, everything is gonna be linked down below um, for, for ease of shopping. So what I'm gonna do is begin by parting my hair how I like it, which is about like that. And I'm already seeing like little pieces. There we go. Okay, if your hair starts off with frizz wet, rest assured it will end with frizz dry. So you really wanna get rid of any and all frizz before you get into the drying process. I'm going to section my hair in half and we're gonna start by applying our product to this bottom half section. And I'm just like raking the product through the hair, like barely, and then scrunching it up into the hair. I'm sure most of you were expecting for my Holy Grail Styler to be the Natural Mother's Curl Talk Line Cream. And you guys know how much I love that product. I mean, I talk about it like too much. I'm obsessed with it. But during these winter months right now, um, we are, it was today like the first day of March, wow. Um, my hair has just been needing more moisture and so this product is just a little bit more hydrating and I love the shine that it gives my hair. But I do think I prefer the Curl Talk Cream in like spring and summer. So, so they're all great products, um, but I did wanna show you guys this product here today. Now I will say that if you want like perfect hair results, uh, I would do more sections in your hair than I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just being lazy because that's just how I roll. And I also don't really love for my hair to look perfect, personally. But yeah, if you want perfection in your hair results, it takes time, simply. Um, and if you don't mind it being a little messier, then it can be quick and you can run out the door. And let me know if you want me to film my hair next time I get a haircut. I thought that that might be a nice way to show you guys my haircut because I get a lot of questions about it. So give this video a thumbs up if that's something you're interested in. If not, that's totally fine. I don't know if that would be boring, but okay. And just scrunch until your heart's content. Now that we've got all of our cream styler all throughout my hair, and as you can see, you guys, I really don't have like gallons of hair, okay? This is all my hair to the side. It's not that much hair, like it's really not. It's all an illusion, okay. Next we're moving in with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Gel. You guys know already this is the only gel I use, period. Um, I will say that Rizos Curls and Maui Moisture have new gels that I have been testing out and I have been liking. The Rizos Curls one is a light hold gel um, and then the Maui Moisture is it says it's ultra hold, but it does not leave a hard crunch or anything. I've been really liking them, but 
I haven't tested them long enough at all to even pretend to include them in a holy grails video, okay? So you guys already know this is my tested baby for flake free protection throughout the day. So I'm gonna use about that much for pretty much my entire head of hair. Um, you don't need to use too much, but you also don't want to use too little, like, you know, really get it in there. And I like to use the old, good old praying hands method, but I don't like to like pull, cause I have waves, you know, so I can't be like pulling out the texture that I have in my hair, but just like a light little cast over it, okay? We are praying for a good hair day. Lord, let today be a good hair day. Once that is done, I'm flipping all of my hair to the side and I am doing our final hoorah scrunch. And I apologize if this video is really long. I just want it to be as detailed as humanly possible, just for you, so that everything was clear. Um, so yeah, scrunch her in, baby. Get out that excess water, it'll also help for your hair to dry significantly faster. And now we wait. Today I'm gonna be air drying. I do use a diffuser, my personal favorite diffuser. I will link the two of them down below. There is an expensive option from Dyson, <laughs> which is amazing, uh, and a more affordable option from Conair. I will link both of those down below. They are my two favorites. But I do still prefer my hair results when I air dry, so that's what we're gonna do here today. And I've discussed this so many times on my channel, and you guys, like, <laughs> It's changed your life. So if you haven't heard this tip or trick before, so while your hair is drying, while you're checking your emails, doing whatever you gotta do, I flip my hair back and forth. I don't touch it. Let me back up. Do not touch your hair until it's dry. Um, so <laughs> you just wanna like, once again, not touching, just whoop, flip your hair from side to side. About every 20 minutes or so, I would flip it from side to side. Okay, another 20 minutes has passed, whoop. And it's just gonna allow, number one, for your hair to dry a little bit faster, cause you know, each side is gonna be getting some wind in it, getting some motion. And it's gonna let, it's gonna give you volume. I don't know how it does it, I really don't know. It's just, a, it's just, it's just a beautiful thing and it works. So, so I'll see you guys soon and then we will fluff it out and be done. All right, babes, my hair is now about 90% dry. If you can wait till it's 100% dry, please do that, but sometimes it just takes so long and like, I got things to do, so. <laughs> All right, so this is what we are working with now that I have scrunched out the crunch. I literally just boom, 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 and kind of like shake at the roots to get a little bit um, of the gel out of there. And this is what we get. Now for me personally, my hair gets more voluminous as the days go on. So I like to jump in with a dry shampoo to add some volume into my roots, especially on first day hair. Today I'm gonna be using the Playa Pure Dry Shampoo. I really, really like this one. I'm almost done and I don't want it to be over because <laughs> it really is good. So I kind of like to just simply section the hair in layers, so. Ooh, is she like out? Oh no, she's almost out. All right, get it in there. Flip to our next section. Ah, dang it. I'm gonna jump in with the IGK Direct Flight Multitasking Dry Shampoo. This is the medium cleanse and texture level. Okay, bam, that's the volume we needed. And then shake it out. This is what we're working with right now. And last but certainly not least, my favorite step that kind of ties it all together and makes the hair look really hydrated and juicy <laughs> is like an oil or a leave-in conditioner. This is from IGK. I really like this one. It does have silicones, so if you are 100% Curly Girl Method approved, this would not be for you. But this is the anti-frizz leave-in conditioner and it creates shine like nobody's business. But if you are looking for a silicone-free option, this one from Briogeo, it's the Rosarco oil from the Rosarco line and it's really, really nice. It's pricey though for this little bottle, but it does last a long time. So these are my finished results. It is actually a couple of hours later because my hair was not completely dry in any way, shape, or form. And then I took the dog for a walk. And then I refreshed my makeup because I'm going to dinner with my baby. So it's been a minute. I'm very happy with my first day results. As the days goes on, my hair gets more and more voluminous. 
Um, so tomorrow it'll be a little more voluminous and the next day and the next day you get the gist. I will say though, please actually wait until your hair is 100% dry before touching it, unlike me. Um, it can lead to some flyaways and frizzes and that's okay. So just imagine my hair like 10% better, you know, just imagine it like a little more perfect. You can, you're seeing it? Wow, it's good, huh? It's really good. This is how my hair looks from the side, and then I will show you the back view as well. That is a wrap on my updated hair routine. <laughs> Be sure to check out the links in the description box below if you want to check out any of these products I recommended to you here today. And I would love nothing more than for you guys to leave a uh, comment down below letting me know your holy grail wavy product, curly product, super curly product. Let me know that one hair product you can't live without. All right, until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.